Greetings, my friends, and welcome to a lesson that should expand your idea of finding area. You know, that thing you've been calculating with the bases and heights and, well, you've seen quadrilaterals and triangles, maybe even circles, but have you ever seen anything like this? Oh my goodness, what do I even do with that? That could potentially be the layout of my house, and if I want to find the area of it, well, I don't think base times height or half base times height is going to help us find it very easily. But we might be able to use both of those in combination. Look really closely at this shape. No, seriously, look really closely at it. Do you see other shapes inside of it? Here, let's see what we can do. Do you see any triangles or rectangles? Check this out. There is a rectangle right here. Let's mark it. Now, I know we could find the area of that rectangle, but then we have all this other stuff going on here. What do we do with that? Oh, yeah, I, I do see that. Oh, another rectangle, huh? And maybe you saw some different rectangles in here. Those ones are pretty easy to calculate, having just a base and a height to use to find that area. So we've got a rectangle there and rectangle. Oh, hey, a triangle popped out here as well. What do we do with the rest of this, though? Oh, really? You see that line, too? Cool. So now that we've separated this out into shapes, does it look like it might be a little bit easier to do? I see two different triangles, and I see three rectangles. Well, let's get to work measuring those, and let's find the area, if we can, of each of those. Okay, why don't we start with this uh, big rectangle right here. Got 18 centimeters by 5 centimeters. I'm going to actually write that down. 5 centimeters and 8 centimeters. Okay. My mistake, 18 centimeters. All right, and then how about this rectangle here? We've got four centimeters down here. And how about its height? Eight centimeters. That's where that eight centimeters was. And this other rectangle, we're looking at about four centimeters. And nine centimeters. So we've got the rectangles all taken care of, and why don't we find those real quick? Do you think you can help me with that? Uh, 5 times 18. Yeah, 90 centimeters, and don't forget, those are squared. Uh, how about this other rectangle here, the 8 by 4? Can you figure that one out for me? 32 centimeters. Very cool. And how about this one? That one is 4 by 9. Yeah, 36 centimeters. Nice work with your uh, math facts. And don't forget to square all of your units. So now we're left with these two triangles. And do you remember the area of a triangle? What is that formula? half base times height. So let's measure those bases and let's measure those heights. This one is three. And you know, I noticed this triangle shares a side with that rectangle. We already have the height. Uh, same thing happened here. We've already got eight centimeters. That side, we just need its base. We've got four centimeters. Okay, my friends, can you help me find the area of these two triangles? This one being three, a base of three with a height of nine. And remember, we're taking half. Thirteen and a half centimeters squared. Got it. And how about that other one? Sixteen centimeters. I will write it like this. 16 centimeters square. So now that we have all these different areas, we can add these up. And once we have all of that, we'll have the total area of this amazing shape. Have you added all that up yet? 
Come on, what is it? What is it? All right. 187 centimeters squared. Doesn't look like it has that many in it, does it? But it totally does. And you can make these crazy shapes for yourself, but you could also look for things like floor plans of houses. You could have your friends or your parents put a bunch of dots on a piece of graph paper and then connect them and look for all those weird triangles and rectangles. But maybe you even want to try shapes like octagons or something like that. There's a lot of these shapes out there that we can build things out of, and I can't wait to see what you find. Have fun, friends.